Opera SM here with a, the Colossal Tussle right node playthrough. We are going to be trying to exploit this the last ride event support, which is when a creature you control dies or loses a reinforcement, we are going to try to use the part where if that is a non-token creature, gain two life and deal two damage to your opponent's planeswalker. That will be a damage cog. Uh, also, when a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may destroy target creature you control if you do draw a card. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and use that with a Gourmand Death Loop. Uh, we will use uh, Gourmand. This is perfect. These are uh, some of our combo pieces here, which is great. Um, so what we will do is Gourmand, when it enters the battlefield, if you don't control any other creatures, you destroy it. Kaya's Ghost Form will let us bring that Gourmand back to play, uh, but we also have the other uh, enchantment we have in the deck is uh, Murder Investigation, which is when a creature you control dies, create a uh, token. So we'll have that. The token will come into play. Lay in a line of Singularity should exile the token when it enters the battlefield. And then Kaya's Ghost Form should be able to bring the Gourmand back. So I think the order we want to cast them in is Murder Investigation, Leyline of Singularity, or Kaya's Ghost Form. Not positive, this is actually my maiden voyage with the deck, so you're getting to see it as we're figuring it out now. Uh, we've got a match five on the board, which is great with these blue. Uh, double checking, there's nothing else here for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Great. Now we can start cycling. The rest of our deck is for cycling spells, which have some conditional use if I need to get rid of uh, some opposing uh, supports or small creatures. And then the Splendor Mare was just there because I needed another creature. Great. There's our murder investigation. So all we need to do now is find a Gourmand, and then we have all of our pieces together. I am excited. I have two other combo decks I really like for the top and the left node, but I was having a tough nut trying to build some sort of combo to work for this. But I think we may have got there finally. So, all right, let's take a look here. So our opponent gets plus bonuses to team or colors. So let's see. Um, we probably want to take some of those. We could take a red match on the second from the bottom row, and that could uh, give us a white match maybe. Uh, we have another red match on top. We have several different options for blue matches. Um, I don't think there's anything. The blue match on the right could drop a white match there. Um, maybe I'll take that. And it's possible the computer's telling me there may be another white gem that's dropping. I don't know. It's either that or the... Uh, red into the white, but I think that's about the same odds, so we'll see if the computer knows what the top gem is. It didn't, but that's okay. Oh, cook, it gave it a better match with the reds. Boo. That's what I get for trying to see what it would predict. All right, cool. So, um, we're just gonna have to cycle away till we find our other card that we want, which is a little unfortunate, because it's going to drain mana. It's possible that maybe drawing, um, Maybe some draw spells might be better, I don't know, but I just wanted to use cycling because these conditional removal spells that we get sometimes, like destroy an artifact or support, are pretty good. So um, just making, you know, a potential use for those if we would need that. So let's see, we've got a green match, but then that would give him a red match four, so I don't think we want to do that. Uh, we could take a red match or a blue match. Um... Trying to see if there's anything we could cascade into here if we do that. Not really looking like it. Uh, yeah, I don't know here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this match here. Got green. Let's see, what do they have? This little porky quill thing. Little porcupine parrot. Porky parrot. There's some funny weird creature types here. Great, and there's a Gourmand, so we have everything we need. So uh, what I wanna make sure I would do is cast the Gourmand after I get everything else in play. Again, I think the order that I would wanna cast them in, because the game seems to resolve triggers in the order that you put the creatures, first creatures, and then all their abilities, and then supports and all their abilities on the stack. So I think we want Murder Investigation for when Gourmand dies to make a creature token. 
Ley Line of Singularity to exile said creature token, then Kaya's Ghost Form to bring it back. Not sure if that's all going to work, but I'm hoping that's the premise of how this deck would work. It'll be awesome, and I will celebrate if it works, and I will be sad if it doesn't. But it won't be the end of the world. All right, so let's see. So we need 6, 13, 23 mana total to get this combo off. So let's see. Uh, still, next turn I'm going to be able to fetch something, which is great. Uh, so let's see. I could get a red... Four match, which I think is the best thing that's on the board right now. I don't see... I could get a... No, I can get a red match three into a black match. Thank you, computer, for helping me. You're a good job. Do a good job. All right. Uh, what else? And then that could... Could that lead to anything else? I don't think so. Just go ahead and take that now, I think. Oh, yeah. It could have led to a green on top as well. Um... All right. Leyline of Singularity. What? Oh, it had a uh, overflow ability, remove buffs from opposing creatures. We didn't have that. We have all of our pieces, so what we're going to do is exile this so I can use Karn's first ability to get some mana bonuses, hopefully. I should have looked at the board which bonuses were the most helpful to us before I did that, but I did not. So, we're going to just take one of these cycling spells regardless, just looking at what I can see of the board here. I think there's more white than blue, so I'll just take white for now. Sure. And it works well, because there's a white and a blue. I should have looked at that before. Uh, when you're going to use Karn and think about the mana bonuses you want, that's something to consider a lot of times. So now we have plus three to white and blue, so I'm going to get six for this blue match, and then uh, three for the white match, which is pretty awesome. And then I think I get a red match after that even. Is that enough to finish out all the mana? I don't think it quite is, so we'll just go ahead and do this. So we're pretty close. All right. Let's see if we can make this combo work. I'm super excited if it does. Uh, let's see, there's a loyalty match we can take here for five just as a free roll, which is great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add more mana bonuses right here. Oh, that's cool. I just saw some deer running across our, my parents' yard where I'm staying now. He's neato. Um, and again, I forgot to look at something, but I'll just take a cycling card. I don't think it matters too much. Um... All right, so we'll just go ahead and take that for now, and then I've got a white match that I can take for enough mana here to make this all come down. All right, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. So again, I think the idea we want, if things resolve in the order they do, is Murder Investigation to make a token, Leyline of Singularity to exile said token, Kaya's Ghost Form to return stuff. I think this will work. And then Gourmand to get it all kicked off. All right, let's go ahead and take it and see what happens. All right, support's coming into play. Gourmand coming, killing himself. Dealing damage to opponent, create a token, exile the token, make Gourmand. It works, it works. We have an infinite combo. We have the infinite combo using only popper cards, using having to create creature, having to create tokens and not using humans. Yeah, we got it to work. We got it to work. I am a happy man because I did something silly and fun. I just like finding combos in this game. It's awesome. So we could sit here forever and watch this thing go in all its glory, but you get the idea of how this is working. Uh, what we will do, though, is make sure that we are getting the creature, excuse me, the token uh, creation happening here, which we are. Great. We have 10 out of 10 tokens here. And we have, uh, you know, winning with only popper objectives. Great. So this combo deck does work. Yes. So if you want to do all infinite combo decks on this, you can use this for the right node. And then you can use um, a broken turbo, turbo loyalty ramp um, on kind of two of the other nodes. And the one where you need mutate, you get to do some cool things. Uh, you get to do some cool things there with with Mutate, with Vadrock, and either Snapdax or 
Omnath to deal damage, and then the one where you need to cast uh, big creatures with evergreens, you can use Otrimi with Snapdax to do some really cool stuff too. So yes, we figured out infinite combo decks for all this event. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. All right, take care, everyone.